What is up my crew, this is Yelsey here, and today is something that I haven't done in quite a while. Talk about Theta Emerald. I know, it's shocking. And this video doesn't count, that was a glitch which was fixed quite easily. In fact, last time I sat down and actually discussed this game was a little over 5 months ago I believe. But we're going to talk about it in a different way. You see, I posted on my Facebook uh, telling people to ask their questions about the game. Literally any question, and conveniently most of them were Theta Emerald, uh, Renew related. So today we're going to look through and see what people have asked, because I've been kind of closed off about posting certain things, whether it be my Facebook page or my book community page, so let's begin. Just to let you know, uh, don't get upset if I can't say your name, because you guys just have some crazy last names, and some of, them, some of you guys have crazy first names too, so I'm, I apologize in advance if, uh, you, uh, <laughs> if I get your name wrong. Dave Lowkey Jack asks, what's the timetable looking like? So I'm assuming this is the question pertaining to when is the time frame for when Data Emerald Renew is going to come out. Short answer, uh, I'm hoping to have it either, technically the game's like almost done. I can release it either, like I can release it today if I wanted to, I can release it tomorrow, I can release it next week, next month. Anytime between now and the end of 2018 is when it's probably going to come out. But beta testing is very important right now. Brian, I'm going to call you Brian, Borio Fraga, <laughs> butchered that, sorry, asks, Favorite Overwatch hero? Mine are D.Va, Junkrat, and Moira. Now, why is this on here? Uh, I never mentioned Overwatch at all. Well, if you've been on my Facebook page, I actually posted uh, my play of the game using certain characters, and uh, I'm very into Overwatch. In fact, I have the Origins Edition on my PS4 and the Legendary Edition on my PC because there was a sale this weekend. So my favorite heroes, depending on a class, is Tank, D.Va, of course. For DPS, damage per second, I believe it is, which is their offensive or defensive hero at the point. Depends on what I'm doing. If I'm attacking a point, if I'm attacking, definitely Soldier 76. But if I'm defending, definitely Bastion. And for support, I like Lucio, because you don't have to worry about your teammates. You can literally just press one button, and the character will kind of just do it while you're attacking sort of a secondary effect nathan yamba asks any special features you want to uh you're you want to add or plan to add for a new if you can tell us about future features now this means like are you adding anything different uh technically if you watch that little glitch video if you notice the icon when i show trico looks kind of different from the icon from the original uh, emerald game that's because some of the uh, characters uh, actually have their icons changed to look more like the Gen 6, Gen 7 icons because they look a lot cleaner and, I don't know, they look cooler, so that's one thing I did change. Uh, legendaries I changed so that instead of just going and interacting with a portal, you have you can interact with the portal, but then you'll be te teleported to an area where a legendary is. Like, let's say you want to battle Mewtwo, okay. You interact with the portal, you'll be transported to Cerulean Cave in Kanto. Or if you want to battle Heatron, you'll be transported to Stark Mountain in uh, Sinnoh. So that's a really big change. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Also, are you into any other fandoms like Marvel or Star Wars? Well, <laughs> I just looked over. I am a fan of uh, professional wrestling like WWE, Ring of Honor, New Japan. In fact, the reason why I looked over is... I don't tell people this too often, but I actually have a, um, a replica of the Universal Championship, all metal. <laughs> cost a little over, I think, 400 I think it cost 300 when I got it, because I got it on sale. <laughs> and I have a, uh, a dumbed-down version of WWE Championship next to my lamp uh, when I turn on my light. It's not like metal, it's actually like plastic, but it looks almost identical to the actual thing. Uh, Marvel? I'm not, like, heavy into it. I do like the movies, though. Uh, I definitely want to see them in a new war, even though I've been spoiled countless times <laughs> through memes and other things like that. Uh, Star Wars? Um, my dad's more into Star Wars than me. In fact, if one thing I also have on my desk is I have Funko Pops with, uh, Characters like the Shadow Guard, the Medic, Medical Droid. I have the movie moments with the Cloud City Duel. 
Oh no! Uh, Commander Cody, uh, Clone Commander Cody fell over. Damn. Um, but yeah, I think my dad's more into Star Wars than I am. Uh, I mean, I like the movies. Uh, Last Jedi I haven't seen. I did see the seventh movie. That was awesome. Uh, I saw, I think... Shit. What was that movie called? In uh, 2016 it came out? The one where it was the... Um, between, it was between episodes three and four, I think. I didn't see that one. I, I, I mean, I did see it. But I forgot what it was called. Man. That was cool. Uh, it was sad, though, at the end. But if you watch the movies, you know exactly why you know that had to happen. Um, I'm very into Nintendo. Anything Nintendo, I love. To Mario Brothers, I love Legends of Zelda. Kirby. In fact... <laughs> There's one video I want to do in the future involving Smash Brothers. All right, I really want to get involved with that when I get the chance. J- Jalil Blackwell asks, Does A-Save or Delta, Delta and Gen work for hack games? My copy of Thinner Emerald EX got corrupted, and I want to salvage my Pokemon as I'm 95% done with the Pokedex. Also, will there be an after-game story? If so, would you put yourself as a character with your favorite team? So if you don't know what A save or Delta Gen are, they're pretty much uh, save editors. Short answer, no. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> in general, for hack games, it won't work, especially for the Emerald Renew. Because the way hack games work, uh, the, that stuff works, like, whenever they get A save, I think of Pokehex, which is a save editor, pretty much. The reason why it wouldn't work is the fact that the game's editing your Pokemon where the location everything is. When I expanded the Pokedex, when I expanded Bag Space, when I added the foreign change for Kyrem, where it stores, you know, the, the you know, fused Pokemon and stuff, problem is, it changed a lot of things within the RAM. So when a save editor tries to edit it, I, don't quote me on this, by the way, I'm not really too sure if I'm right about this, but I'm just taking it, I'm spitballing. If you try and edit it, it's gonna kill your game pretty much, and it'll say this game has the save has been erased due to corruption. So no, it won't work. Uh, also, whether it be an after game story, I kind of mentioned it in the last question about um, the legendaries post game is a lot bigger than it was in Theta Harmony X. It wasn't just okay, go to this area, battle legendary. Now it's go to this area, bat- go to the area of where they're from. Like I also mentioned, forgot to mention that for Legendary, some of them you still need Pokemon, like, you want to battle Giratina, okay, fine, get the Alcapokia, you got them, good, have fun the Distortion World, pretty much, uh, that kind of thing, so, yeah, they'll definitely have a, definitely a way more expansive uh, story mode, so that's pretty cool, and, um, myself as a game character, I'm not too sure, I did kind of tease, uh, who I'm, oh, I already put in the game, <laughs> I posted it on my, um, uh, <laughs> Facebook saying, uh, I'm just gonna put this here. I'm not gonna say what it is, you're gonna have to find out yourself, but <laughs> it's gonna be intense when you find that person. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Christopher Cruz asks, is it going to be a 721 hack again or an 807 plus hack? It's gonna be a 721 plus, uh, 721 hack, jeez. Because I mentioned this before, the engine that I'm using to make Theta Emerald is not updated to accommodate Gen 7. And right now it's on hold. I have no idea when it's going to come back. And truth be told, if it comes back with the entirety of Gen 7 abilities, moves all functioning correctly, guarantee I might work on the next Theta Emerald. Absolutely, with Gen 7 in it and figure out where the hell I'm going to put everyone. Because <laughs> at that point, the game's going to be a little bit crowded. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's only a 721 hack. Uh, how about forms? New items, new abilities, new moves? Are they complete or do they still need work? Forms? <sighs> Every single form should be in. I got the Shaman form added in. I mentioned it to Kyrem, uh, Hoopa, a couple, I think a good portion, like the Gen 6. Up to Gen 6, they're done. Plus Ash Greninja and Complete Zygarde. Uh, new items. If anything, I can really say new is the form items and the shiny charm, which you can get by completing a certain dex. Uh, new abilities and new moves. Here's the new ability. All abilities are in for Gen 6. They're done. Gen, uh, for new moves, Gen 4 through 6 moves are complete. They just don't have ability. Uh, I mean, they just don't have animations. They have abilities, they just don't have animations. 
If you can deal with that, great. If not, sorry, there's nothing I can do. Uh, can we expect a less bug slash glitch in your hack? Meaning, are there going to be less bugs and glitches compared to Theta Emerald EX? I'm hoping so. Let's be realistic here. Uh, <laughs> that was a kind of a cold day. It was a horrible day when I found that cry glitch with the zigzag dune. I got that fixed quite quick because I think the reason why was I was using a, a map editor. I guess something got overwritten and we got really screwed up. Now they work. It's great, so I don't worry about that. So I'm, I'm hoping there's less. And the last question is, can you keep the level cap level 100, not 250? <laughs> okay, here's a f story about that. So level 250 at that time period, I kept it in just to piss people off. Because at one point I did have it set to level 100, but then some of them just pissed me off so hard. So I kind of said F this, and I <laughs> kind of just put it back in and said, there you go guys, it's complete, it's all, and it was updated too, so you had to get it or else you're fucked. So, um, that was cool. <laughs> but yeah, there's gonna be a level cap. It's gonna be level 100. Unless people want a level 250 cap, then I'd be more than happy to do it because it's literally just kept changing a couple things. Halen Hallsworth asks, Are you ever gonna fix that stupid game breaking glitch disappearing TMHM glitch? So if you don't know, there was a. I do remember seeing this and hearing about this. I'm not gonna lie and say that I didn't see anything about this. A lot of people were complaining, I think, after you do the Battle Frontier or something like that. Your TMs would disappear, and your Pokedex would be reset to zero. I didn't know what I don't know what to do in that kind of scenario. So I think the main reason why was I was using a very screwed up variation of Pokemon expansion, where it was the old version, not the new one that I'm currently using that my friend uh, Dizzy Egg made, which is actually 100% better. Makes things a lot easier, and nothing really glitches out. So I'm assuming that might be the reason why, and I'm using all of his expansions, which are really good, and they really help. That's what I've been kind of basing my whole entire game off of, was just that. Everything besides that is probably the map editing, creating events and stuff. But yeah, the creation of Pokemon, items and stuff, that's all gonna, was all from the uh, expansion, so I'm hoping that isn't happening. Franco Kleinerman asks, is the hack going to have fire red leaf green music? It depends on where you go. So like I mentioned, you can actually Take a portal and go to different parts of, to, to, you know, past events or future events in that game's time span. So, yeah, it will have fire red leaf green music. Like, if you go to Cerulean Cave, you're going to find the, the, the exact same music from fire red leaf green. Same with Seafoam Island and Mount Ember. So that's definitely going to be a yes. You're going to find some. Justin Kambalisa asks, Any features about Theta Emerald Renewed? <laughs> I'm hoping there are some features. <laughs> I can break down what the game's gonna be. So Theta Emerald's gonna Theta Emerald Renew is a complete overhaul of Theta Emerald's whole entire background. Now you might see the game as well like Pokemon Emerald until you literally just turn on the game. Because <laughs> what you're gonna see is something that's not entirely makes sense. I know it sounds kinda weird, but what I mean is uh there's going to be over 700 Pokemon. There's going to be over 600 moves. I think 600 moves. Is that what Gen 6 said? I'm not too sure. 500, 600 moves. Easy. Um, there's going to be new abilities. New items. Uh, every single Pokemon catchable, I swear. Uh, I think that's it. I think there's a lot more to add. It's just like every single kind of Emerald hack now. It's like, oh, it's got the physical special split. Got the fairy type. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. So yes, that's the features. <laughs> it has. There are features with Theta Emerald Renewed. Don't you worry. Jonah Nolan asks. There was a new. There was a bug where certain new moves would cause the screen to visually glitch out. Was that fixed? So what he means is, is that there was a glitch where if you use like, I think a move is like, Lovely Kiss or something like that, or Drain Kiss. The, game, the text box, not the text box, the uh, HP bar would glitch out. I did see that one time. Uh, that had to be with the move animations. That I, I don't think that was on my end. But I'm hoping that was fixed. Remember, if it hasn't been fixed, I don't know what else you want me to do. Because <laughs> I that's all the battle engine. It's not, it can't be me. So I'm not too sure. I'm hoping it was fixed. 
like I said, there's still gotta be beta testing stuff that we'll get, well, I will definitely get to. Bert Kuijaper asks, Will there be any new slash more songs in Data Apple Winners? No. And if you want to know why, I want you to just watch this and say, do you think LC's the right person to do music editing? Oh! Oh my god! I know this guy! Hold on! Wait for one second. Oh, wait. Never mind, I can't go on there. I know this guy, hold on. I think Adele be through. I'm trying to find it. God damn it. Where? I swear to God, I think this guy was the one who made a game called the Pokemon Shiny Gold Sigma, where it was a remake of a ROM hack called Pokemon Shiny Gold, which was a remake, uh, remake of gold on fire red but also included gem 1 through gen 7 and actually something i wanted to play for a really long time uh he asks what is up with that black nibba pikachu from before what is he talking about oh is he talking i think he's talking about that one time where i um showed why is the game not released so that was the re uh, the reason why they were black and they looked like sperm pretty much was that they didn't have sprites so I had to resort to just using them as placeholders. So yeah, they're fine now. I hope that's what you're asking. I don't know what else you should be asking me. And boy, this guy take the term ask anything you want in the comments because he asked six questions. <laughs> Mauricio Hernandez asks, does the game have the battle engine for Gen 7 or Gen 6? Gen 6. Short answer, Gen 6 because there's no battle engine for Gen 7 yet. Could you add Z moves? Like I said, since there's no Gen 7 battle engine, Z moves aren't a thing yet. How many regions will there be? Technically just Hoenn, but you can go to other regions. Very small portion of regions, but regions nonetheless. Will the game have more items? Yes. Will you put Fakemon in a Fakemon Mega Evolution? No. I. Fakemon are fun to a certain extent, but no, they're not gonna, there's not going to be any Fakemon. Are there many differences regarding Theta Emerald EX? Well, oh yeah. You might play the game and just think, oh, it's the exact same game. It's not, because the way Pokemon are set up within this data itself is completely different. There are Lolan forms, there's new forms, there's ways to access forms. Um, it's going to be hell. It's going to be hell on Earth. <laughs> But yes, there are there are many differences when it comes to this game. Marcio Philo asks, "Did you fix the Pokemon Battle Victory that hold the wrong Mega Stones?" Now, okay, I wasn't the only one that saw this then. So, I think if you play through the Battle Factory and you get to choose your Pokemon, they have the wrong Mega Stones sometimes. I guess it's probably because I when I got rid of Limiter, I guess it took away things too and it changed things up. So I'm hoping that like they got fixed. Maybe it was a glitch or something. I don't know, too sure. But let's just hope that was fixed. Because honestly, it, it kind of sucks that I can't do that. I, I would love to fix. It. I, I hope that like because that's not really my thing. Maybe it's just how the game sets it up. I'm not too sure. And finally, last question from Marvy is a asks. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you expand the TMs to 150? Uh... <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> wow, uh, I think that... <laughs> 7.8 out of 10, too much TM, pretty much. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like the amount of TMs I added were enough, unless you, like... I think mainly one of the main reasons why someone asked that is maybe to get all the move tutor moves in there which actually doesn't sound like a bad idea but i'm not gonna add a tm just for like dragon ascent or spirit or secret sword i mean if there were, if i can do that for like ones that aren't really necessary that like probably aren't necessary like hyper voice uh signal beam i don't know if that's a, a bug bite maybe i'm not too sure i mean 
it's not gonna be TM 150, but it's gonna stay at 120 unless people want me to change it. I don't mind changing it. It's just then I gotta have to go back inside the game and like it's gonna screw up everything. So right now, no. I think TM. I think 120 TMs in the game are enough. All right. And with that, that is the end of this video. Uh, so these questions were actually really good. Got the point across. The Emerald Renewed out quickly and. Uh, it's probably music in the background playing. Um, I just want that to stop. I want to just make one point. So, like I said, I mentioned it, that the game's pretty much done. Uh, I could technically release it, but the problem is if I release it, it might be a very buggy mess compared to most <laughs> things. So what I want to do is, I have a question. Should I be the only one to do it, or should I pass this out to beta testers? Now, if you want to be a baby tester, here's the rule. You have to like my Facebook page. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You have to do this because I'm going to make a whole entire stats about this as well. You have to like my Facebook page to see it. And you have to comment saying why you would be a good beta tester because I'm not going to hand it to just anyone because if I hand it to just anyone, how will I know they're not just going to play it just to have it? I mean, you could, but the problem is the game is technically not done. I can add a, a thousand more things to it if I wanted to. But I want you to, when I post a sass about this, I want you to write in the comments why you want to be a beta tester. And if it's a very good response, I'll send you the link and I'll let you know what's going on. Also, I actually was asked this to make this. A lot of people ask me this and they always say, why don't you make a Discord? Now, I'm not really very versed in Discord, but I figured out how to do it. So let me go look if it's still up. <laughs> Yep, here it is. Uh, LC Cool J95 server. So, welcome to the. This is literally my own server. Uh, I actually made it. Now it's gonna have a couple channels right now. It has a general where I kind of just BS and shoot the breeze with a couple of guys. Game updates is anything pertaining to Theta Emerald Renew. Uh, bugs, glitches, help. That's gonna be more geared towards the beta testers if when they get the Theta Emerald Renew. To let me know, okay, this is what's going on. I found this problem. Can you look into it? And that kind of stuff. And just with hell of it, I added an Overwatch channel because I'm very into Overwatch right now. In fact, I played a little bit on my TV before I went to dinner last night. And then I, when I came home, I was on the computer. I did the voiceover. This is the second time I did voiceover, by the way. But then when I was done, I kind of just screwed around and played Overwatch on my PC. <laughs> So if you want to just come here and talk about over, well, why not? Or we can get a group together and play, that'd be awesome. I made a Pokemon's channel, which is just a Pokemon channel. We just discuss Pokemon, whether it be a legit game or hell, even a ROM hack. That'd be pretty cool. And I also made, just for the hell of it, is the Smash Brothers uh, channel. Because if you don't know this, I was very into Smash Brothers Brawl hacking. And right now... I'm not, I mean, I've been looking into that too, but not really to hack anymore, just more to look into it and play around with it. But this is here where you can just talk about anything Smash related, from the pure nostalgia of Melee, or the shitty leaks of Ultimate. <laughs> Emphasis on shitty. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you want to go join that Discord, I'll actually leave an invite link below in the description if you want to join that. But I think that's it. Now, this is going to be in this video, so... That was pretty fun to do. Uh, be sure to like the video if you found any of this interesting. Uh, I did. This is actually, you know, different, kind of. I always say that it's different, but it's kind of the same thing of me just talking into a, my phone, microphone, but it was different in the sense of I haven't done a QA and i in probably like a year, maybe? I don't know. It's been a while. Uh, I'm not too sure, but I think it was cool. You should like the video if you found your, uh, your own question on here or just like it. If you did dislike it, explain why in the comments below. Or just talk, if you have any other questions, I'll try and answer them as much as I can. Because what I want to do is with this game, I want to be as transparent as I can. And make this probably one of the best hacks ever. Not really, it's, it, though, true, let's be real, it's not going to be the best hack ever. There are probably better hacks out there right now. But the problem is not English. Like Hyper Emerald 807 or something, whatever it's called, is in Chinese. And they always say, oh, there's an English edition. It's still in Chinese. <laughs> can't really get, can't stress that enough. It's still in Chinese and I don't understand it. And be sure to subscribe for more videos and pertain to gaming. I might do videos involving Smash Brothers. I actually do have a couple things in mind. And I also have 
do videos talking about very important discussions. Like, there is one video I've been thinking about recently. Man, I'm getting a lot of ideas. It's crazy. Uh, school year's coming up, so I got a decent amount of time to work on these kind of things. So, that's pretty cool. So, until next time, my crew, I will see you later.